Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In our previous video, we have learned how to activate the ray trace feature and how to control it using the log command and the boss process. In this video, we're going to learn how to control the ray trace in real time using widget buttons. So we started by creating a widget and named it as ray trace. And I've added some buttons. As we have learned from our user interface widget series of videos, if you have missed it, I'm going to add it in the link below. So basically, we have some buttons that will control the ray trace, reflection, global emanation, and translucency. So let's start to add some functions, for example, for the ray trace reflection. So I'm going to choose the on button and on clicked, we're going to create a console command. So this is a node that will execute a console command. So in the output log window, we're going to write ray trace and we're going to add the reflection and I'm going to just copy this, paste it on the command section. So I'm just going to delete this so we can hide it. Okay, so now we have learned that the zero of one will activate the reflection, the ray trace reflection. So I'm gonna also add the op function. So on clicked and hitting Control W to duplicate this node and make this to zero to deactivate it. So compiling this and then go back again to the designer and let's do the same thing for the global illumination by heading on clicked to activate it and then just duplicate the execute console command and let's copy the outlook command for the global illumination. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it so this is activating the global illumination and for the off button where we get a deactivated do the same thing here but with a zero value the same thing again for the translucency so on the on button we're gonna hit on the clicked and let's get that command from here I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting get the same uh, spelling so I'm not gonna make any mistake so duplicating this so adding the translucency command also and for the off button the same thing now as for the ray trace itself there is a, a very cool uh, command log that actually disable all of the ray trace feature at once. So this is called ray trace force all ray tracing effects. So I'm gonna take this also as a copy and inside the widget designer for the ray trace on button on clicked again duplicating this so basing the command and also for the off, which is the last button I'm gonna add in it, function two. And this is gonna be also zero. So we're gonna compile all of that and let's see now how it's gonna go. So in runtime now, and I hit F11 to maximize the screen. So we're going to start, for example, by trying the ray trace global illumination. So I'm going to click on on and immediately you're going to see that we have activated the global illumination. So if we press again off, it will disable it and on again, it will enable it. And for the reflection, if we hit on, you're going to see some of the reflections start to appear here and off. We're going to see the reflection is a little bit off. And again, also for the translucency, it's very difficult to see it on the glass part. I'm going to 
try to just freeze that glass reflection. I'm having a, a, little bit, a little bit of a slow frame per second because of the foliage system that I've added. So I'm gonna just hit off, and as you can see, turn the translucency off. So we have all the ray trace reflection, global alienation, and the translucency activated. Let's see if we can deactivate them all. So I hit off. We have deactivated all of the ray trace uh, features. So if we click on, we bring back and all. And this is how we can control the ray trace inside uh, the real time uh, interaction uh, method. So this is basically uh, the idea behind uh, having some buttons inside uh, your real time to control uh, the ray trace. So if you have any questions, please share it down in the comments below and hope this uh, was simple and, and clear on how to activate and deactivate the ray trace. And thank you very much. See you in the next video.